Keep on the Borderlands, one of the most played and even most beloved adventures of all time. Module B2, first published in December 1979 and was written by the Godfather himself, Gary Gygax, as an introductory adventure for the basic set of D&D. It's actually the second adventure in the B series, the first of which was In Search of the Unknown. This is such a beloved adventure by so many, and even Goodman Games, who produces Dungeon Crawl Classics, made this amazing tome called Into the Borderlands, that just for the opening pages of that book, with the insight from designers and dungeon masters and their experiences with the module is worth the price of the book, at least to me. Your mileage may vary. This hefty tome is the first in the series of their original adventures reincarnated, and I highly, highly recommend it. If you're interested, there's a link below. The Keep on the Borderlands is a West Marches style adventure where the players are invited to a keep which acts as their home base and then they go out from there to a few different locations to adventure and get loot. The main area is known as the Caves of Chaos. There is so much good to be said about this adventure save for one glaring thing. The Caves of Chaos are basically an ecological nightmare that has been likened to a monster hotel. Besides the lizard men, spider's lair, a raider's camp, and mad hermit outside of the caves, at the actual cave site location, there are the following. A cobalt lair, an orc lair, another orc lair, goblin lair, an ogre lair, a hobgoblin lair, the shun cavern, which is home to an owlbear, a bugbear lair, a cave of the minotaur, a knoll lair, and the shrine of evil chaos, which houses an evil priest, his acolytes, and a bunch of undead, all in the same area, and they just kind of sit there and wait for the adventurers to come and kill them and take their sh There is talk about some infighting and such, but yeah, I don't get the reason why they're not tearing each other apart. There really should be one dominating force, and the rest are either subservient or dead. That's just my opinion. I do get the overall concept. One easy location. Once you go there a time or two, there's no need to describe in detail what the travel is like. You start at the keep, and then go to the caves, back to the keep, back to the caves, etc. It is suggested to the characters that they keep to the lower levels of the caves, and then as your character gets more powerful, then you go to the higher levels of the caves for more powerful monsters and loot. For myself and many others, this just makes you scratch your head. If you are part of the head-scratching crowd, then here's a solution. Break apart the caves and stick them in different areas of the main map. Do it as you see fit. The caves are basically already broken up into sections, so this is quite easy to do. An amazing adventure made more amazing. If you want to get my redrawn map of the Caves of Chaos, either whole or exploded apart, go to my Patreon page and you can get it for free. The link is down in the dungeon. Alright, that's about it for me. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Cheers. Alright, do this and do that and do this and do that. And watch this video.